Hello, my name is Arch Brooks, and I'd like to welcome you to this video tutorial. Today, we will establish a new workspace for our Grails projects. In our Eclipse workspace, we simply click on File and then traverse to Switch Workspace. And we'll use the other designation. And for this particular project, uh, we'll call it uh, TP for a test project. And click OK. And it's going out and uh, establishing itself. Of course, the uh, Eclipse ID will need to restart. And it'll be initializing this workspace for our subsequent projects. As we can see, the ID has returned. And the next thing that we want to do is go into our preferences and under Java we want to make sure we're using the correct JRE so we we'll click on add we'll take the default here and we will traverse to where we have our JDK and it should be under the Java subdirectory and it's uh, JDK 1.7 we click that and then we click the finish and we want to make sure that the JDK is selected and then click OK. The next thing we will want to do is go ahead and create a new project. And we want to make sure we have the Grails perspective in view. So we do a file, new Grails project. And our default is at 2.2.1. We want to make that a more recent version. So we'll configure our Grails installation and we will add Grails version 2.2.1. And we'll traverse down to our Grails. In my instance, I have several versions, but the one we want is 2.2.1. And we click OK. And then we click for that specific version. And we give it a project name. And we will then click on Finish. And as we can see, our new project has been created for us. And just to make sure everything is copacetic, we will run the project. When we start out on new projects, uh, sometimes it's, it's a good idea especially if we're starting in a new workspace to perform these settings prior to beginning any work. And it looks like it's done building the project. We click on it. And our Grails app is up. We're using uh, JVM 1.7. We're using uh, Grails version 2.2.1. We're using Groovy version 2.7. And as you can see, it looks like um, we have configured uh, the Eclipse IDE to produce uh, applications in this new workspace to our specifications. Grails, along with the Eclipse IDE, allows us to do some fairly uh, substantial and exciting work. My name is Arch Brooks, and I would like to thank you for watching our tutorial.